So good morning, all of you. My name is no background. So how many of you from science background? Please raise your hand. So I just only share my experience. So I have done my PhD from Jadavpur University. Whatever I resource collect from there, I just share with you. The topic, academic misconduct. It is a worldwide problem. It smells or wind the credibility of the concerned person. There is ethics to be followed if we have heard this. Only ethics guides all human beings what ought to do and what to not. Due to unethical ethics, misconduct, obligation of. And what are the misconduct? You already learned this thing fabrication, falsification. Plagiarism, duplicate publication, authorship, and conflict and interest. Each and everything I explain in details with full example, worldwide example. You just follow me if anything is problem. According to my experience, I won't share it. Okay. So you know the law, misconduct, that is the wrongful, improper, and unlawful conduct, motivated by pre-mediate. You know, this is a plan, intentional purpose, by abstaining in deference to the consequence of honor. That is definition by Wikipedia. Black Lock Dictionary defined also misconduct, a transgression of some established and defined rule of action. For me, and a deliration from duty, unlawful behavior, willful in character, improper, or wrong behavior. These are the misconduct. Later, I explain in details. These are the two parts research misconduct. That is fabrication, falsification, unethical research. Second one is the publication misconduct. So one by one, I explain these are the types of academic misconduct. You know, these are the total structure. Now, now I explain fabrication. Is the construction and addition of data observation and characterization that never occur in the gathering of that, which have not occurred. But we fulfill our hypothesis, we fulfill our assumption, we just fabricated this. Results not yet come, but we explain all this. Thing. That is the wrong, because we want to prove our hypothesis. When we start your research, you already take some hypothesis. According to hypothesis, you find the methodology. So here, result not come, but you Prove this data. I give an example later on. So this is the example. Pildon man, report of homidin remains found in Susak. Susak is a place. There he found this thing. 
But this is the missing link because scala modern man, he showed the scala modern man and geobon on orangutan. Orangutan is this portion and the modern man. This is a mislink. Later soon to be scala modern man, fraud certain. And but identity of Kalfit still uncertain. That not found him now. Charles Doen and Martin Hinton. That this is the fabrication. Result is the fabrication. Which you are background of science, you know. These are the fabrication of result. These are the wrong interpretation to prove their result in research. Ontogeny recapitulates. This you know ontogeny because when the child born in the mother in the embryo, these are the development, different stage of development. Here also, you know, the hackle, these are the wrong interpretation. Later, these are found, these are the wrong interpretation. There is a fabrication to find the result, to prove the hypothesis. This is the wrong. Because the maximum renowned scientist, maximum renowned scholar, they use this falsification because their reputation, they want to more interest of this. Again, I come to the concrete and interest. These are the false reasons, fabrication of this research. Staple also living dark social psychologist was found to have fabricated and manipulated information in dozen of research papers over almost a decade. Several dozen of publication which false information was used. He done 21 research out of these 20, 14 PhD thesis supervised, also burned. Many of his studies graduated without ever running an experiment. That is the false, according to the report. Several told them they were better off spending their time researching and analyzing that. So these are the also wrong implications. 1990 to 2002, we claim to have cloned a cow and a pig. Claim cloning the first human in world and to have extracted stem cells from them. Who are the science background, biochemists, that is possible. When we collect the stem cells, stem cells collect from embryo, when the child birth, that time you collect the stem cells. Stem cells is related to the cancer, overcome to the cancer patient. So these are the wrong, false, uh, these are the fabrication of these results. He was shared with him, embledging. Embledging means that they are fraud. That is the synonym of embledging is fraud. US $3 billion. There's a fine. Committing fraud by knowing using fabricated data to apply research fraud. Violating a bioethics law, that law purchase of ego for research. He lost his license to conduct the Bionic stem cell research and was fired by the university. These, these type of renowned persons, they do this type of activity. You know, these are journal time. This time journal side of this, you see this time journal. These are published. Thiruchalam, the uh, Sri Lankan scientist, a former assistant professor, fabricated stereological cells, countdown and study on new pesticide influence neural mechanism involving Parkinson disease. So, you know, here the study pesticide we use in our product market uh, for the agriculture. These pesticides, he told that this mechanism, Parkinson disease is the one of the cause, but this is the false this publication already cited. I cite this publication. The study is reported as a result of 13 new experiments that were never taken. Not taken this experiment, but he announced the result. This is the fabrication of research. The papers slated for retraction, slated means that the covered, the false data would be used to create several summary bar graphs, which Terubu Chalam modified to support the hypothesis. I already told you, many people to support the hypothesis, these are the misconduct, these are the unethical data they collect and for the fulfill their research criteria. But you know, research is not 
your degree research if your research helps to the your other people in the society then your research is successful otherwise your research is just a simple degree no one can bother about your research so if your research few of the people in the society they need to study of your research so your activity whatever you done during your activity that is value added of your science falsification changing on omission research result that is also one important to support claim hypothesis other data etc falsification can include the manipulation of research instrument material or process manipulation of image or representation in a manner that distort distort means that is a binding the data or read to me much between lines can also be considered falsification so you know the meaning of falsification now i come to the example <clears throat> that is told paul called the next darwin you know darwin the scientist each and everyone know the darwin equivalent to darwin told what he done and will in the 1920 amazing discovery that of spring of midwife toads means ban midwife toads inherited black spot but find out that the closer experiment revealed the spot were in fact hand painted with black ink so this is the false earlier he proved that that is a uh, toad wife uh, black spot are there but when we experiment more than it that find out that the pain dot are there use the pain dot to false results so next one is that autism vaccine you know autism what about the disease autism is a genetical disease here you know andrew wakefield published results from a study of 12 children that appear to link autism with vaccination autism vaccination never so autism is a inherited quality in 20, 2011 the british medical journal declared the study not a case of bad science part of a outright fraud science never be bad but his research is a fraud so that is the problem of falsification next one is that obesity you know the obesity no one here in this obesity <laughs> i mean all are uh, slim figure here so obesity eric polman research work group is 2.9 billion dollar of usa federal grant money was convicted in 2005 of falsification data in various studies on obesity having violated the public trust he was sentenced to jail the first for a usa scientist for lying on a grant application so this type of fraud case going on because these people when the people is noted in the society we accept without any proof this this person says this thing okay these are right but when you experiment is these are find that this are because in, in generally the foreign journal whatever they are reviewer whatever they are editor again they find it these are wrong or right so these are the falsification of exam one ho su one ho su there is a landmark paper in science reporting production of human embryo stem cell by somatic cell nuclear transfer any bio science student here so you know the somatic cell is total cell so stem cell only for this bug type this is a wrong interpretation so data fabricated and falsified also obtain human aids for research of unethical means you know the super willer you know the super bullet only bio science student know this is because after marriage egg after and generally uh, every woman within a month one egg is fertile one egg is i mean grow but here the more than these are the false result so suspended prison sentence for impeachment fraud result impeachment here is the fabrication falsification exp
So, you know, the ethics, what is right, what is wrong. And what is good, what is bad of your, you know, from your childhood, you know, the moral science one book is that CBSE also public central board of secondary education, uh, school level, that is the moral education is there, that is develop your ethics. So whether directly or indirectly, interview, questionnaire, focus group, observation, personal data about individual, any human biological material, then the research must be independently ethical review and approved before the student being data gathered. So if we collect the data, personal human beings, so we collect the data, you convince them for this research, I collect this data. Permission should be taken. So supervisor is responsible for ensuring that this takes place. Failure to gain ethics approval may result in the student dissertation or thesis being failed or deemed in ineligible for submission. Guidance on the different routes for the obtaining ethical ethics approval and when each applies is available from the university central research ethics website. So before we do this, you ethical permission is necessary. Port and Dawn, you know, a series of experiments conduct in Port and Dawn, UK government and military research center. Participate, though they were volunteering for their trial to find their such a cure of common cold. You know, before COVID vaccine, COVID, COVID seal, we experiment voluntarily few of people. Among they know their experiment may be caused right, may be caused wrong, but they are voluntarily, they are experiment there. So here also experiment for the common cold. But you know, the exposed to LSD, serine, mustard gas, in this type of poison penetrated there. That is a ruin their person's life. So 2008 agreed to pound 3 million payment of surviving veterinarian. Consent and exploitation. Two causes there. You are not taking the consent of the person. Second is the exploitation. Exploitation of the person. Because his or her health is totally weak. Here you know the side I paper also cut it down. The Ministry of Defense is awarded three pound million in compensation to 360 veteran cold wear experiment, 360 percent. So Dick Van also the senior pathologist at Aldar Hay Children Hospital. Expert in court death, you know the court death means when the child is sleeping in the court, you know, small court, one type of baby. This is a court day. It was found to have organ from about 850 children without appropriate function. You think over it. He just sells the body parts to the public. Dead body of this child. This is the research, these are scientists. So, staff up by GMC, means General Medical Council. Staff of his service. Along with scandal and Bristol Royal Infirmary lead to Human Act 2004. Consent and fabrication. These are two causes of there. He never take the consent. He started the interest because money is come. Dead body, he is a uh, one type of, uh, I mean, killer person. Every child, he just extracted the body parts and sell in the market. Conducting research on human without informed consent. Because when you study with the human, you should necessary to take permission of that person. What you are doing, what research. This I already told you the COVID vaccine, COVID seal voluntary experiment of the person, then these are published for the each and everyone. Informed consent is voluntary agreement to participate in research. It is not merely a form that is signed, but in a process in which the subject has an understanding of the research 
and its risk. Informed consent is essential before enrolling a participant and ongoing one's enrollment. So informed consent must be obtained for all types of human subjects, research including diagnostic, therapeutic, conventional, social, behavioral study, and for research conduct domestically or abroad. Obtaining consent involves informing the subject about his or her right, the purpose of the study, the procedure to be undergone, and the potential risks and benefit of participant, subject in the study must, must participate willingly. Next one is the vulnerable population, means which are the weak population, prisoners, children, pregnant women, if we experiment them. So consent is necessary, must receive ex extra protection. The legal right of subject may not be waived and subject may not be asked to release or appear to release the investigation. The also the institution or the agent from the liability for negligence. Now come to the example. So these are the scientists studied the syphilis, poor Afro-African with advanced syphilis recruited to trial of study their bad blood. Syphilis, one type of bad blood in their body. Deliberately untreated to see long term effect of infection. On that time, penicillin is available, but he not inject the penicillin. He waits for suffering for this infection. Over 400 men involved. So, breach of human rights, which means ruin, violent. So, here consent. He never taken the consent, one is exploitation, other is racism, that is also important. Conflict of interest, that is also more important in your research. Basically the science student, conflict of interest are most often occurred between requirement and interest. What require and what are the interests? Various type of conflict of interest can occur because of the nature of relationship versus rules of relation of federal and state law. People can easily become biased because of small things like friendship, food, flattery, or they may be influenced to make a decision because of the potential to gain power, prestige, or money. Conflict can occur when an individual makes or influences a decision and does so far some personal gain that may be unfair, unethical, or even illegal. The main important part is what you do in each of these situations. Do you allow your family, friendship, financial or inside knowledge, knowledge affect your reaction? That is also because here ethical issues come. You support when you suppose you are a subject expert higher from any university. Now the two scholar interview in front of you. Suppose you that these two polar you want your relative. So here you bias for the water. That is wrong. <coughs> Andrew Wakefield, 1998, famous paper linking autism with MMR vaccine. You know the MMR vaccine, all of you. Arm, muscle, MMR vaccine. In which he stated more than two years decided he was guilty of conflict of interest, both as recipient of money from a lawyer looking for link to vaccine, and regarding company, he set up looking to market it. Highly selective report of data. Data is wrong, selective, not all, and unethical dealing with children. Unethical dealing with children. You know, these are very much bad experience. Consent, he never taken the consent of the person. Exploitation, next is the conduct of clinical trial, conflict of interest in financial. He get more money from the company. So bad result provided. All over the pharmaceutical company hire the scientists for their product sale in the market. They already advertise this medicine is for that disease and that approved by their scientists. 
But to sell the product in the market, this type of false research comes. Now come to the next, that is a very important exploitation. How to exploit? That is one of other part of academic misconduct. Own benefit, benefit of another person, trade, intimation, blackmail, extortion, bribery, offer to favor or some other means. If you give the good reason, pharmaceutical company purchase you, <coughs> foreign company purchase you, because <coughs> suppose your article, your journal is famous, obviously in nature publication. <coughs> Come to the example. <coughs> Nadi doctor, 1940. Medical experiment conduct on prisoner. Sterilization. Modeling of battlefield wounds and infection. Psychological response to extreme condition. Budget transplant and twin cut. All of you understand this? Raise your hand who not understand. Nadi is a doctor. He experiment conduct to prisoner. And what he done? Sterilization. You know the sterilization? Next is a battlefield wounds and infection. Sci generally, uh, physiological response. Budget transplant and twin study. Doctor included angle of death. Angle of death by the angel of death means he is the death. Bring the death. Angel of death. You know the angel of death. Manushta Mrittu Dut. Angel of death. Joseph Mengel escaped plus several put on trial and hand. Prisoner of the near near condition blue Sterilized for the agent. Parts, body parts replaced for the agent. Even said John Nake Hashida Hoichilo. After that, Eta generally Hachetumar people were synonyms. That is not content taken from that person. Battlefield because battlefield is a wounds auto blue herset, but other infection. That is a bit to their general liberation. Tar port after that lead to Nurbar code of conduct of research involving human subject 1947. Consent and exploitation. What are the code? We come to the code. Aim to protect human subjects from enduring the kind of cruelty and exploitation the prisoner endured to concentrate care. Ten elements of the code. Voluntary consent is essential, as like COVID, seal, co vaccine. The result of any experiment must be for the greater good of society. Amrajakon, stem cell new research for cancer effect. That time, any person ready to accept this experiment, why this person may be good or bad, may be done, but after that person experiment, other person may be benefited in the society. So that's why it must be greater good of the society. Human experiment should be based on previous animal experiment. So all of you know, we rat experiment, toad experiment, Many experiment after we last new experiment with the human beings. Experiment.
No experiment should be conducted if it is believed to cause death, disability. The risk should be never exceed the benefit. Adequate facilities should be used to protect subject. Experiment should be conducted only by qualified scientists. Subjects should be able to end their participants at any time. The scientists in charge must be prepared to terminate the experiment when injury, disability, or death is likely to occur. These are the code, 10 code. Which one? Number? This one? Naji doctor. Naji doctor. Yes. So now the abuse of the peer review process. There are several ways to abuse the process of peer review. You can steal idea and present them as your own or produce or an unjustly harass review to block or at least slow down the publication of the ideas of a competitor. These have all happened. So now come to the example. Soman and Philip. New England Journal for Medicine, NEJM, sent Philip paper for review. Philip passed paper to junior colleague Soman. They rejected paper. My topic is peer review, abuse of peer review. Now, a few months later, AMI Journal of Medicine sent original author paper by Soman to review. Section clearly copied from her, plus additional material later shown to be made. That is also plagiarism, fabrication, violation of peer review process. My one original article I sent to publication for any good journal. So, journal sends the peer review to examine it, maintain the quality of the journal, at per standard of this paper. Sometimes this reviewer reject it and keep it for your own. Later, this publish another abuse of peer review. I come to the complaint and appeal also. Sabotage. 
deliberately interfering or attempting to interfere with one or more studies, academic work, true, but not limited to tampering with, alternating, damaging, or destroying personal or institutional academic material. Sabotage may also involve interfering with learning experience, including, but not limited to. Now come to the example. December 2009. Heterems, a graduate student doing basic cancer research, began noticing problem with her research material. Problem with her research material. Switch level on Petri dish. Petri dish, you know, these were experiment this. Errant antibodies dumped into her Western bottle and several instances of ethanol in her cell culture medium. Suspecting that someone was intentionally undermining her work. You know the undermine. Your, destroy your reputation fully. Destroy your reputation fully. You don't know who destroy your reputation. So undermining her, she notify her boss, Theoros, who contact university official. The University of Michigan Police launched an investigation and eventually installed hidden video camera in the lab. Within less than 24 hours of beginning, Putin once camera captured Vigu acting suspiciously. Under questioning, he confessed, saying that he was trying to slow down the student down. You know the consequence. You are a good student. They are one person. Slow down your research. He was fired and taken to court where he pled guilty to Malikov's destruction of property. He was subsequently ordered to pay more than $30,000 total in fine and restitution. He is currently repaid just over $20,000 according to the online record. These are the one. Next one is the Kajol. <laughs> Someone was sabotaging her research. Yale University. She did what comes naturally to scientists. She set up a control experiment to test her hypothesis. Science is journal, lab doctor, hypothesis test. Kajol studies of how the genome switch on after eggs is fertilized had begun failing mysteriously in July 2011. A month after she started her postdoc in the development of biological lab of Antonio uh, Gritbell. In August, she began producing transgenic geographies. They all died, not once, but time after time. A lab technician assured her she was doing everything right and polyp fish is okay, fine. So Kazan produced a new batch of fish <laughs> and divided them into two groups. Once she put a container labeling with her initial NK, <laughs> as she had done before, she left the other half unmarked. Sure enough, the label fish died, the other were fine. The experiment was a key step in providing that someone was tempering with her experiment. So according to lawsuit, Kajal filed with the Supreme Court in New Haven on 7 February when hidden camera were installed in the lab. They revealed a fellow postdoc poisoning her fish. The complaint says, now Kajal is swing the alleged petitor. The name of this person, Colin, Colin, used the poison for this fish. So according to the complaint, he left Yale after he was caught on video. These are happening in the lab. That is our exploitation. So that is also, now one important is the helicopter research. Nothing to do with aircraft. It is typically described when researcher from well, the country fly to developing country like Indonesia. 
take sample, fly out, analyze the sample elsewhere, and publish the result with a little involvement in local scientists for logistics. Helicopter research is dishonored in genomic research. African scientists have called for more control of their contained genomics data by issuing guidelines. However, it is rampant in many fields of research. Rampant. In fast way, these are doing.
ऑक्सीजन के रेड ब्लड सेल ये ए मंथ लेटर दिस पब्लिकेशन वाज क्रिटिसाइज्ड बाय इंडोनेशिया साइंटिस्ट देयर आर्टिकल इज साइंस क्वेश्चन द एथिक्स ऑफ साइंटिस्ट फ्रॉम द यूएसए एंड डेनमार्क टू टेक डीएनए सैंपल ऑफ द बाजो पीपल एंड एनालाइज देम विदाउट मच इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ बाजो और अदर इंडोनेशियन पीपल दैट इज आल्सो एक्सप्लॉयटेशन <laughs> you heard this name slimy size slimy means meat salam we take a piece of this salam Ma uh, mutton and all this thing salami people we just cut piece by piece so slicing of this arch that is Form one meaningful paper into several different paper is called salami publication. To increase your publication, you had you just done one research and collect a big data. That is one result. Part. But in these data, you just divided into three to four paper to increase your publication. These are the slab sizes. Photo manipulation. Mainly science student doing this photo manipulation. Simple image enhancement, misrepresentation, an image of something different from what it is. Now the ghost authorship. You heard the name of ghost authorship. Substantial contribution to the research or writing. of the report but it is not listed as an author generally in science lab senior researcher as their junior researcher junior research collect the data publish the senior research so ultimately junior research also an author because they collect the data according to his or her hypothesis but they don't mention in their paper that's not a ghost story. give authorship suppose your your supervisor you published a good paper supervisor told me you inculcated my name on your paper generally these are happening in science paper generally here also i have seen that because i have a librarian i also seen that many faculties involved his or name of his scholar paper but their involvement is nothing on this contribution all are doing the research for gain for own benefit give to us guest authorship suppose renowned person in your subject any renowned person are there to increase the probability of your article you inculcate his or her name to weightage of your paper rolling authorship duplicate publication multiple publication or redundant publication more than one one paper in publish more than one with different journal that is also violation now example annamala university accused of plagiarism data manipulation in over 200 research paper microbiologist and image forensic expert elizabeth big has stressed duplication and manipulation in paper published by annamala university researcher multiple kind of fraud big has discovered multiple kind of fraud right from image manipulation to plagiarism to funding fudging uh, of data fudging of data means fraud data false data annamala paper she analyzed she pinned the details in her blog the first and most prominent kind of 
deception she discovered was the manipulation of image either by duplicating section of image or repeating the same image several instances were featured in an image and duplicated multiple times within the same image 127 papers from india reacted for image duplication manipulation the searchable database of reacted papers launched by reaction watch so 982 papers from india have been reacted so far of these 330 have been reacted for plagiarism and super surprisingly 118 papers for image duplication manipulation the number of paper reacted for image issue has suddenly increased since 2016 with 37 paper reacted in 2018 alone the most common form research misconduct researcher must be aware to cite all sources and take careful note using or representing the work of other as your own work constitute plagiarism even if com committed unintentional when reviewed privileged information such as when reviewing grant or journal article manuscript for peer review so when you publish your paper when you submit your paper plagiarism state is necessary so raj 2003 2005 celebrity psychologist appearing regularly on tv and radio 2003 book from age of coach and various other writing in the article on psychology admitted plagiarism but claimed it was accidentally due to pressure of work <coughs> suspended for three months plagiarism now what is <coughs> to use the word of ideas of another person if they were your own words or idea you can extract any idea or pass off without intimation to the person citing person to use without creating source to come and detail you that so these are all plagiarism last year one student came in our library and our plagiarism check i find 50 percent he told me you ignore all this thing and give a zero result well <laughs> i am the library here your subject is uh, chemistry i don't know anything about the chemistry so how i can ignore of your all data what constitute a plagiarism copying or pasting material from online resources a paper from web and submitting as your own using another person work or claiming it as your own using photograph video audio without acknowledging quoting a source without using quotation marks even if you do cite it why do people plagiarize lack of awareness that is the most important simply not knowing about constitute plagiarism lack of confidence not able to figure out how to respond never use or not aware of citation style that is more important in one of the studies one scholar when he submitted his paper he had also invited me to see the style i just asked to the student what style you maintain on your citation he totally ignore about it he totally don't know what is citation citation style is very much important mla apa ipcc and also indian style that is also available whenever you cite anything in your research whatever you doing should be any standard should you maintain a standard you use the english word you use the standard of dictionary oxford dictionary cambridge dictionary you mention that i follow this standard second is that you follow any manual you also use in your citation i follow this one and generally in your science research you always your sentence in passive form not active ones because that are not true 
So these are used the center in passivity. So lack of knowledge of ethics of academic core writing skill, types of plagiarism on research, secondary source, invalid source, duplication, paraphrasing, that is also very much important. Repetitive research, replication, misleading attribution, unethical collaboration. So bioteam plagiarism means what you use are and what more, more what you use it, complete plagiarism. Types of. So here intentional, unintentional. Copying from another source without citing, intentionally. You are not cite the person who is credited for this. Buying, selling or borrowing a paper, copying a friend's work, cutting or pasting block of text from electronic source without proper citing. Unintentional, careless paraphrasing. That is also important, quoting excessively, poor documentation, building on someone else's idea without citing, using source too closely when paraphrasing, failure to use your own voice. What are the consequences? Depends on set policy and guidelines. Depends on severity of act, warning from instructor, higher ups. So different type of punishment. Later I also explain this thing. What, how to avoid effective management of time, developing good research skill. How to now? So timeline. Timeline is also very important. Due date, deadline, these are very much important. Note that data and allocate time follow schedule accordingly, collecting information. That is the first. Reading and taking notes, drawing and outline, preparing rough draft, final draft, it's a time for last minute changes. <clears throat> Instruction from your guide, use library web-based resources, identify scholarly resources, research for information from these sources, evaluate and select right source of information, Organize collected information sources, read and take proper notes of content and source. Use right tools, database, citation style, software, seek assistance from library staff. Quoting. This time, maximum people, when you quote anything else, that time you misplace word, quotation, all these things. Exact word of your author. Copy directly from a source. Word for what? Quotation must be cited using text citation. Add power of an author word to support your argument. Disagree with an author's argument. Highlight eloquent or powerful phrase or passages. Comparing contrasting specific point of view. Important research that precede you more. Paraphrasing. So you know all of you paraphrasing. So just cross this one. Next one is the summarizing involve putting main idea. Summarize significantly shorter than original. Take broad overview source. Necessary to attribute, summarize idea. Establish background or offer an over topic. Describe knowledge, determine main idea of single source. So how detecting? These are the Software here in university UGC permitted Urkund software, but side by side, authenticate is there, T20 is there, flex scan is there. Anyone you can use it. Pre research check plagiarism, these are the pre research checker, no money is needed. Main objective to create a one, to establish institutional mechanism, to develop system, to detect plagiarism, to set up mechanism to prevent plagiarism and punish. Which thing you check for plagiarism? Maximum people do not know which thing check and which are not checked. 
research paper, dissertation, full fledged books, chapter books, thesis. This should be necessary to check plagiarism. Content not to be checked necessarily. Assignment, answer script, essays, term paper, project paper, postwork. That not necessary. All quoted work reproduced all necessary permission. All reference, bibliography, table of contents, preface, and acknowledgement. All generic terms, law, standard, symbol, and standard question. Whatever I told you, the standard, those which standard you follow. For the style, APA style follow, Indian style follow, MLA style follow, you mention what style you follow. Standard, what dictionary you follow, Oxford dictionary, Cambridge dictionary, Shangshot dictionary, whatever dictionary you follow, you mention in your bibliography. Because you know the Samshad Bengali dictionary and the academic dictionary, these are spelling differences there. So that's why before you write this, you mention the which standard you follow. Generic term, you know the sun rises in the east, law, third law, or Newton, these are all known. Level of plagiarism 10% okay, no problem. After 10 percent, similarly about 10 to 14, you revise your paper. Similarly, 40 to 60, cancel, and above 60, your thesis cancel. So these are the no penalty, 10 percent. 10 to 14, submitted a revised fit. 40 to 60. Generally, 40 to 60, that is more, that time uh, they change to new, you started the new work, and 60, cancel registration. Penalties in case of plagiarism, academic and research publication, 10% minus similarity, no penalty. Shall be asked to withdraw manuscript. Shall be asked to withdraw manuscript. Shall be denied right to one annual increment. Shall not be allowed to supervise for a period of two years. Supervise. Supervision also cancel for two years. 60% shall be asked to withdraw manuscript. Shall be denied right to two successive annual increment. Shall not be allowed to supervise for a period of two years. These are the UGC regulation. Now we come to Urkun. <clears throat> so how Urkun works? Our university follow the Urkun. Urkun never determine what a plagiarism is, but Urkun compare textual similarity and subject similarity. The report generated by Urkun to your teacher consent in the event of his finding similarity of a text compare. Urkun marks your document that are similar to other source. Urkun archives on the internet and it published material to give the teacher access to the original material where Urkun have found the similarity. These are the files you can upload in Urkun, doc file, PPT, whatever the file name is there, you can upload it. <coughs> These are the limitation, how much character, how much word. So generally, Urkun, each and every supervisor have their own account. And this account, you can upload your paper before open your Urkun account. You go to the setting, and there, you filtering process you just own it. Because if your data is stored there, that is make a problem. There's the how to create your Urkun account. Customize, these are the go to the setting and like language, Urkun archives or filtering source out of future 
such as so after you have submitted in input software the result from this type of color comes of your paper green color no matching what yolo 1 to 15% similarity index yolo dark i mean deep yolo 16 to 20 percent similarity index these are the color color so the your percentage how much you copy orange 26 35% pink 36 to 70% and black 100% so this color so how much you copy and which line which area and where to copy that also mentioned there from which journal which book you copy side by side that also mentioned in uko here one thing important is that tamil hindi urdu this type of language you could not develop that is the problem <coughs> and when you check your plagiarism you consolidate of your paper consolidated means chapter numbering citation you totally extracted from this only just consolidated of your right because space more space is problem for this so no title no heading nothing else only your content acknowledgement preface that are not included in this uh, check it only your content that as a consolidated form here also mention excluding preliminary pages declaration acknowledgement abstract list of chart abbreviation table of content these are excluded in case of percentage similar content is beyond the permitted limit or any plagiarized content is detected the researcher have to take appropriate measure under the supervision of their guide so the researcher informed to acknowledge accurately the right author and source given in the text within quotes uniformity and consistency are to be maintained in rendering bibliographical these are the more important consistency and uniform and accept the standard format has to be followed for generally formality consistency here if you maintain your bibliography details as a alphabetical order then uh, author name if you entry is a title entry so title entry also alphabetical dictionary order a b c d if you uh, enter your uh, book uh, author name then that's also dictionary order a b c so these are the uniformity should be there consistency all for citation is necessary <clears throat> these are the practical later on other expert will explain all these thing how to check your all this thing okay thank you now come to the next topic samajh sir sir comment please kiya tha generally if we go to google photo there if we pick up your mouse there copyright and not copyright two photos are there copyright photo means that we take a permission for the consumption if not are there you can extend so generally one photo i upload in website from any other place i go for any two so this photo is my photo but in my camera i am pick up this photo so that is my copy so if you use my photo i can find from this camera for this person i copy this photo 
If you not that, if you collect from your own psychosynthesis, sometimes biological science students they copy because this type of photo is not available. You know the good book, Lelinja, Biochemist, good books, development biology. Yeah, this type of Bajan, uh, Bajan, why against why? So this type of good book, they are different type of photo, good photos are there. That's why you know this type of original book, foreign book, their photo you never get it from anywhere. So that's why you get the permission of science. Whatever you do, you copy anything else, you just find, you just give a name to that person. No place. You now sign this, that is the problem. Generally, jogging up and study. I'm not a little study for the camera study to have to study. Actual study for us is not taking a reference. Obviously, I said that person who already does this. <coughs> Any person sometimes we have cited this person. So that is the data. In general, nowadays this type of copy system are used. One student who collects the data, I just go sometimes the your studies. One student deliberately explain all this thing, his research, how data comes. I want to just see the what about the data he showed in the uh, Skin, that are all the same thing. You know, that is a group of family data. I just asked him, these data is the raw data you collect from the field. I collect from the books. I collect from the family. Now, oh, this research is not the I mean, original uh, anything you find from this object. If you go to the field, you collect the data, that is the raw data. These raw data are very structured from the structure. This type of I mean, your picture, what are you? Don't give us a thing. We have a picture. 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 So, raw in the delay result. This comes, I say, I'm sorry for the fact that Jane says that there are so much. So, she cut it. But I mean, MSC, MA for us, that is easy. In research, it's not easy. A research for me, actor research, she is already no paper letter, already no boy paper. Into that should be unique. Art today develop the artificial intelligence. Right? Next 20 years, everybody will use artificial intelligence. Chat GPT. Our life will be good. Our life will be difficult. So, artificial intelligence will be key. Case each of them. Human being. Human beings, that's the uniqueness. At the function of the uniqueness to the Nata, Tapa, the Swami, which is the people. Kevin will be starting on it, that was the uniqueness of it. Whatever you research to be called, you talk about that unique thing, you don't know to be unique. Jamotte, Koba, research, the established person, when you publish your paper, you see journalism, paper, what happened, they accept it. Obviously, something is your citation, your all this, maybe. Uh, not at for the standard, but the editor says you choice to make a paper next time we publish your paper because your paper has some uniqueness. They recognize you, but unique uniqueness should be established in your research paper. Yes. Yes. What about research? Then, if you do research and it is not, it is wrong, it is fraud. So, who, like, is there any team who checks it that type of research, like, right or not right? Is there any team? Yes. Later, more expert is there to explain all these things. You just see Infinite Center, you know Infinite? You read the Infinite website, Internet Center is there. Shod Ganga, Shod Gangotri is there. Here, University of your app staff already sent to you. And your app staff you see in the website. All over the world you see your app staff. If anything is wrong, they knock to the institution. And taught not only you, also institution. 
That is also check, but all world check your research because now the open field. Whenever you publish anything, publish things that are open field. Your abstract already uploaded in UGC site and UGC site open to all. You copied anything else, so that person also knocked to you and told you, you cite me, otherwise you jolly of it. Otherwise, he uh, complained to the court. And if you complain to the court, means your research is also stuck out from the university. Your promotion, your service, one lady already done in Calcutta. Already get promoted, associate professor. Find that she is article he copied from the other person. So call the librarian also. So problem is librarian ke ki kore, and only the subject expert kore se. Librarian bolte bolte plagiarism checking is subject and ye bolte. Since I am the subject expert, na. Mohila only copied kore se, copied kore promotion page se, and then pote suit file hoye se. So either or a subject jab condition er. So you know I think it is better you should cite the caring of that subject. So subsoi cite ta kora bhal. So you don't result the bill up. It's a result for that. Yeah. Now, you don't know, you don't know. Now, case for Apple and his family, he got it. Maybe you tell me. Can I have a question? I mean, did he put him aside for a doctor? Jogon, okay, rules are rules. I can already be such rules maintained. So you should cite that person with the policy show. Now you need to cut the policy. So you maintain the policy. It's easy to follow. So when I have to look at the problem, gift means, you know, I already told you, the person I just give, no involvement of this research, a rolling means, when you doing the research, suppose you go in a village, you pick up a one person, from that person you collect the data. You not go to the each and every person. One Pradhan is there, one Panchayat leader is there, one a uh, popular person is there, you collect the data. So this person is also a author, but not you mentioned as like a ghost author. <clears throat> I am to confess it. It is hard. You use your own word. Suppose your word, I just your word, I mention in my mind, but it is my not your word. Your feelings is there. I read your paper, and from your paper, I extract the data, write my own self. If I copy your paper, it's like. No, no, no. Suppose 
you cite this, but not copying from this. You cite the your idea, but not writing all into those rules. Toto is not copying this. Clear? Okay, later I explain. Paraphrase. So, complain and appeal. That is, you know, in your paper case, how to complain. You say for the publication of your good journal, how to complain and appeal for that. So, what type of complaint, nature of complaint? Complaint may be made by anyone, including author, reviewer, reader. They may also relate it to author or reviewer misconduct. I already showed the misconduct in abuse of peer review. Complaint may relate to failure of process, misjudgment. Complaint must be related to only to content, policy, and process of the job. You are not follow the journal, one condition is there. Journal policies is there. So, suppose you send your paper, not published within the time framework, then you complain to the editor, why not your paper published? I follow the all policy and all these things, but my paper not published in the journal. Complaints should be emailed to the journal website. Please provide as much detail as possible, including supporting information where appropriate. You know the DOI, Digital Objective Identifier. If your paper submitted, so DOI already generated. If not published, so acknowledgement number is there. With the help of this, you email to the journal. If your complaint related to specific article, please include the title and DOI. If it is already published and the manuscript ID number, if it is unpublished. Formal acknowledgement of the complaint will be made within five working days. Otherwise, regular team communication will be made at least once in every four weeks. The corresponding editor has the right to consult with the other editor or with any third party over the issue and make it final decision that final decision shall be binding and the matter shall be deemed closed. Where a complaint is made about the editor, it will be independently investigated by one or other two editors. All complaints against the editor be referred to journal president. He is a role as a secretary and president board. Concern may include, but are not limited to. Ethical problem with a manuscript. Conflict of interest. I already explained the what is conflict of interest. Money lending policy is there. False declaration. Issue of identifiable images without consent. Use of copyright images without permission. Suspense or unethical image manipulation in a published article, suspected manipulation of a publication process. We take allegation of misconduct very seriously and will investigate all established best practice in publication ethics. We may wish if the editor is not functioning, we go to the president of the journal. Now, these are the complaints, appeal. We'll consider appeal against the editorial decision. Suppose your paper not published, all policy you maintain, then you go to the appeal to editor decision. Under highly specific circumstances, and usually only where a clear breach of policy can be demonstrated. Or author can indicate a clear misunderstanding of the article by the reviewer. The most common reason of rejection manuscript. Article content is not with the scope of the journal. Number one. Number two, article is not written in clear and intelligible English. That is two. The article does not confirm to our guidelines for author in terms of content, style, and format. The article does not meet the journal.
changes to be made within eight weeks. Failure to meet deadline result automatically rejection of the month. So these are the appeal. Any appeal against the editorial decision must be made by email with a copy to the publisher within two weeks of the decision. You should also include the article title and DOI if you are appealing a decision to react a published article and manuscript ID number, you are appealing decision to reject the unpublished manuscript. Just one case I explained. <clears throat> okay, don't see the screen. I just explained it. You will listen it. Acceptance, but before publication. <clears throat> we found Article A submitted to Journal A was highly similar to Article B, published five months earlier in the conference proceeding in Journal B by another publisher. <laughs> The after were nearly identical, but the author list and affiliation did not overlap. We asked the author to explain this, and they said it is their own work, but it was inadvertently leaked by an unnamed medical company they worked. We told the author of Article A that in future they must declare the role of any company in their research and consider if this may be a conflict of interest. They have no money lending and case, conflict of interest. They said their article was previously submitted four years ago to another publisher of Journal C who rejected it. We confirmed this with the publisher who added that their reviewer and editor are not the author of article B. So generally, these are happening. They are suppressed of your publication. The author of Article A said that spoke with the first author of Article B, who promised to withdraw it. Article B was reacted with the abstract being removed and reaction notice posted. However, the stated reason of reaction was error. The author of Article A said they were surprised by this. So now the question comes, could we have handled this case differently? Should we contact the publisher of Article B? Should we ask the institution of the author Article A or author? Generally, this type of incident, we contact with the author or the institution where they doing this type of activity. So these are the complaint and appeal. So any question? Whatever my experience, generally I'm not habituated all this thing, but I try to explore my ideas during my research. So I have seen this type of incident happen. I just share with you. If you like it, okay, thank you.